Lucas Media. Shout out to ones who support me, ones who hate me. So Chris Hummer uh, put out a tweet. Talks about the NCAA transfer portal. Quote, NCAA has adopted the new transfer rules that allow anyone to transfer to earn immediate eligibility as long as they're in good academic standings. Just think, only a few years ago, players couldn't transfer once without sitting out a year. Now they can do it as often as they want. Now, we all know all this decision came from the Supreme Court ruling. Uh, the Supreme Court voted 9-0 against the NCAA over some BS. And then they wrote a scathing letter basically saying that it's unfair. And, you know, then, and now they do NILs. You can transfer whenever you want. Now, look, honestly, on one end, I like this. I think that players should have player movement because these doggone coaches leave every single year. You just seen Nick Saban go out and do recruiting, right? Players committed, then he retires, and players are already at the school at Alabama and Rose, and now they're going to different schools. Now, I don't blame them. But on the other hand, I think a lot of times we got a lot of, and I'm sorry, I hate to be this guy, maybe I'm old school. We live in a very soft, weak generation of people. It's gotten so bad that you have a hard time adjusting to a coach because you've been coddled. Some of these people have, have been coddled and not had a real male figure in their life to guide them. And it's tough on them that the moment they get to college, they fold. You see this all the time. And my thing is this. Again, if you're unhappy, fine. But a lot of these new generation, they want people to kiss their butt. You know, you they, they'll transfer because you make them sit out because they're not watching film or they're not training hard enough. Or, oh, coach yelled at me. I'm leaving. So, I don't know. Like, I've seen players transfer three different times. Look at Sky Clark. Sky Clark was committed to Illinois, right? Everybody's happy. Five-star recruit from California. Sky Clark didn't even finish the season before leaving. Then he transferred to Louisville. Now, the head coach did get fired, so now he transferred to UCLA. But my thing is this. Dude, Sky, could you not? You didn't even finish the season, man. It was that bad? You had that bad of a time adjusting? You couldn't even make it through one season. And that's my only fear with this. Again, I think that players should be making money. And you seeing coaches. That's why Nick Saban retired. That's why Coach, uh, coach K retired. From basketball. You see all these old heads retiring because now they can't take advantage of the system anymore. But, again, we got a we got a very, very, very soft generation of players that they can't take nothing hard anymore. Nothing. I know, like, for instance, I got, I got you know, nephews and nieces and kids. And they act like life's so hard because... You got to go to school and work. And I be looking at them like, for real? Y'all crying about that? Y'all tripping over that. And that's why I, that's my biggest fear with these college players. Oh, life is so hard. Coach yelled at me. I'm going home near my family. You know, so I don't know. That's just me. You know, I'm pushing 40, so maybe, maybe I'm old. I don't know. But I just remember, again, growing up. If I would have called my father and said, look, man, Coach Saban, you know, woo, 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 get, go, getting at me, he going to tell me, you better man up and you're going to stay. You're going to stay at least another year. You're not coming back home. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.